and when it came to North Korea, there was rather familiar language. There was the call for complete denuclearization and permanent peace. Now, I'm as optimistic as the next guy, but I would think the odds of complete denuclearization and permanent peace on the peninsula are something less than high. So on the, what's a realistic agenda uh, short of that? Even if that's a long-term goal, what's a realistic near and medium-term goal with North Korea? Whose goal? Okay, well, what would you like to say? I think this is on the record, and I don't think any politician on the record would acknowledge that North Korea is entitled to nuclear weapons. I think what is conceivable to happen is that there is deterrence and there is a situation where the status quo does exist, but countries continue to not recognize it. Because if you do recognize it, then there are many consequences. And everybody else will straight away say, well, if he's entitled to and recognize, what about me? Why am I standing around? If he's not entitled to, he has it. One day, the situation may well be put right may possibly be put right, well, perhaps there's some possibility to slow down uh, proliferation and much, much wider spread. Maybe. But in the main, I hear what you're saying, and... I don't think the North Koreans are crazy. I don't think they... they what they have seen is that nuclear weapons have considerable deterrence capability, and they sure as hell are not going to give that up either for North Korea or for the regime.